I am Vince with Sports Warehouse Service. This is a detailed video on how to weld um, intercell connectors onto a battery. But the first thing is uh, you got to get your, all your supplies ready. So I've got my torch, oxyacetylene, uh, with a double zero tip. I've got two lead uh, filler sticks, and I've got my uh, wet rag uh, to be able to prevent meltdowns. But the most important thing is going to be safety glasses. And then uh, you light the acetylene first, then very carefully put in oxygen. So what we're looking for is kind of a, uh, I guess like a limp uh, torch whenever you move it back and forth like this. After we get everything all set up, I'm gonna put a little bit of air into each one of these cells, clear out the gases. I'm gonna start uh, on you know usually my left side and work my way over. Uh, first thing I'm going to do before I get going is heat my lead stick up. Getting the lead stick a little bit closer to the temperature you're going to be uh, introducing it. Whenever you introduce it into the inner cell connector, uh, kind of helps out. So kind of look for. So what I mean by connect, you're actually melting the center of the inner cell connector and then melting the side of the inner cell connector and those two melted pieces of lead actually join together. This is a little bit uh, closer version of what this connection process looks like. So what I try to do, this one was my weaker side, this is the, uh, the thinner side. So what I try to do is start, whenever I start to connect, I try to start on my weaker side. Uh, that way the heat gets away from it uh, quicker and then uh, I don't run the risk of actually melting it down. So this one's pretty, uh, pretty thin, but I'm going to be able to use my, um, my rag uh, to make up for the thin. Uh, that the side started to melt down a little bit. So, got to get it heated up again. And then I'm going to put some liquid lead in there. Always making sure that I have a liquid pool in the middle. As soon as it starts to harden and I put liquid lead on top of it, um, we're not getting very good connection and we just end up pancaking everything. This one hadn't melted down yet, but it's getting pretty close, so I'm gonna get my rag in there to make sure it stays clear, or stays cool enough. When in doubt, put your rag on the side. The more passes you make, almost the better. You uh, don't run the risk of melting the sides down. So 
this one's gonna be the last pass on this. So I'm gonna, you know, put a decent amount in there, get it nice and hot. And you don't wanna go too far to the sides. You wanna try to stay as close to the middle as possible. melted down a little bit right there. So what you want to do is make a mold out of your paper towel. So I'm going to start off right here in the middle, heat that up. I'm going to kind of let some of this lead sort of fall down in there. And I'm going to kind of make a pass on top. That is how you reuse old inner cell connectors um, to be able to put a new cell back in a battery.